so here are the things that I will be using. This right here is um, some boneless chicken breast that I just sliced up. I only use one and a half breast. Um, it's only me, my daughter, and my mom that will be eating. Therefore, I don't think it's a need for me to make the whole package. The actual package came with three very decent sized chicken breasts, so I used one and a half. And this is all of the meat that I got out of that. I just sliced it very thinly. A couple of thick slices because sometimes I like them a little thicker. But you can see the size of that right there. It is about the average size. So over here, I have my peppers that I'll be putting in there. We have orange, uh, red, and I got some yellow up under here. I'm not putting any green peppers in there. Just uh, want something. It would still look good, but I just wanted to have these bright colors pretty much. So that's what I'm going to be using. Also, oh Lord. Also, I'm using one small onion. If you can see the size of this onion, it's not very large. And I will be um, kind of slicing it. The same way that I slice these peppers, I'll just be slicing this onion. But I just wanted to um, do this before I slice the onion. I wanted to show you the size of it. It's a very small size onion. Sit right in the palm of your hand, like really small. Um, and this will be enough. Simply because I will be using this fajita seasoning here by Durkee, and this is just something that I picked up in my local um, in my local grocery store. Um, you can make it from scratch um, if you want to do your seasonings from scratch. All you need is paprika, um, chili seasoning, garlic powder, um, salt, and pepper. And you can make it because I've done it before. But this is my first time trying this type of uh, fajita seasoning, so we'll see how it goes. And um, these are the tortillas that I'm going to be using here. These are flour tortillas. And um, I'm going to be using these. I think there's about 10 in there. Um, but they're really, really good. I usually buy this brand anyway, so they're really, really good. So, on the next step, we're going to start cooking. Stay tuned. Alright, you guys, Miss Jones is back, and this is what I'm doing right now. What you're seeing in this bowl is the chicken that I showed you. I added in the seasoning with, along with one, um, with a half a cup of water, and just kind of, I know, I gotta do this like one-handed, but you know, Throw it around up in there and coat it. So, um, what we're gonna do is I have my good old um, skillet over here that looks like it want to try to start burning, but it's all gravy, baby. Um, so I just heat it up really, really quickly, and I'm gonna let it cool a little bit and um, add in. I already have added in a half teaspoon of oil and um I'm gonna have my next um step will be rather excuse me. I'm doing two things at the same time. Um my next step will be you can see that it fully coats it. Excuse me. Don't do that. You know I'm making a video. Don't do that. This is my homework, Jayla. You want me to fail or something? Okay, so I have my skillet going. Um, I turned it up to about 6 and let it heat up real, real good so that it will pretty much kind of sear the meat. That's how I prefer it. And um, so right now I'm going to add in this here. And let me try to set this up to the best of my ability. And make sure you get all that seasoning off of the side of the bowl because you know how it sticks to the bowl. Yeah, that sucks. But just ease it on in there. All you gotta do. Right now, I'm just 
just like getting the uh, extra little seasoning out of the bowl, just to make sure get everything. You're not going to get it all, but, you know, get as much as you can. Get as much as you can out. And right now, I am going to turn the stove on, um, probably to about four and a half to, to five. Because I got that initial, I love that noise. I got that initial thing going on, so I'm just going to let it go on ahead and let the meat begin to cook in the seasoning. Um, usually... I'll cook my chicken and then I'll add in my seasoning. Um, and you could probably do it with this, but just kind of looking at the texture of the seasoning, I chose to coat the chicken first and then go on ahead and put the chicken, um, put it in the actual pan. But usually I do cook the chicken first. You can do it that way too. Um, but Taco Bell actually makes a chicken fajita mix that I used one time before, and you can do that with that. You can cook your chicken and then put that seasoning on there. But this brand, which I am not familiar with, I just coated the chicken first. So basically, it is on the stove and getting ready to do a thing. And I am going to let this cook for a little while, and then I'll be back once I add in the vegetables. But this is what it looks like right now. And when I come back, I'll be adding in the peppers and the onion that I have sliced up and let it simmer. And it is really that quick. Like, it really does not take that long, but it is a super good recipe, and I wanted to share it with you guys because I love making this for my family. So... I'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, this is Miss Jones, and I'm back. And this is the update on the chicken fajita. Um, tooth, I guess. I don't know if it's really a tutorial. I'm just sharing something with you. But um, this is it. As you can see, it's simmering. And this is the point where I will add in my vegetables. So. Um, as I told you guys, I was going to slice up the onions, which I have done. Just going to take it in. And at first, kind of lay it on top if it's really, really simmering hard, depending on your stove and what setting you have it on. So be really careful, even if you have to kind of bunch it on top like that. You can always go back in with a spoon and even it out. So don't worry about that. Also, a really quick tip. My bowl has been cleaned. My cutting board has been cleaned. While you're waiting on this stuff to simmer and get ready, wash a dish while you're standing there waiting. Just wash a dish, and at the end of the day, all you got to clean is your pot or your pan or whatever you're using. So that's just a little trick that my mom even taught me growing up. Like, as you cook, clean the dish. So right now, I am just mixing it in together. Um, I did majority vegetable as far as the green, as far as the peppers and the onions. Um, but you can add more chicken if you like. And I'll probably end up adding more chicken because, like, when I make these, I just want to keep eating them throughout the week. <laughs> and it is such a, it's just a really healthy meal that you can have, you know. It is a really, really, really healthy meal that you can have, so... That is that. And just mix it up really good. And I'm even contemplating adding in a couple of pieces more chicken. But I'm not sure. But whatever. If, whether I do it or not, this is the basics, and this is how you get it done. And you can put as much chicken or as little chicken as you want, you know. Um, it really doesn't matter. Whatever is, is your thing. Like, I know that some people have fajitas that don't really eat meat like that. And it's mainly like, um, like vegetable fajitas, which are really, really good. You might not even think they are, but they really are good. Um, so... For right now, this is it, and I'm going to 
um, let this go on ahead and simmer. Um, prior to me coming back, I, I let the meat simmer for about five minutes, and then that's when I came back with this portion. Um, so I'm going to go on ahead and let this simmer, and we'll be back with the finished product. So this is what it looks like so far. Alright, so I'll be back.